What is going on guys? Today we have got Headliner Vardy's play review and he's well expected. Obviously he has been on form, I believe. I believe he is the top goal scorer so far and I'm pretty sure who who's behind him. I think Aguero's behind him. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure he is top by quite a, a couple of goals at least. He's on fire and he has come from Fleetwood a few years back and he has been a monster in the BPL. So it is no, it's no exception that he is going to be in this team. Headline of Vardy is is nice. The three stars, it, it, I'm not, I'm not feeling it, and I think that 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 is a problem um, as a striker and as a fast striker as well. It would be absolutely insane with just at least four star, four star. Whether they decide to actually do that. I doubt it very much. Normally, they don't really increase any sort of star ratings. We know they can because they have done on a previous card, but it is a. I don't think. I think we've seen that once it, that we know of. I think that is literally once. He's a high high, but obviously being a striker, I'm not too fussed about that. Um, obviously, five ten. Pace wise is fantastic. Um, really, really nice on that. Finishing, even so, again, is is a very nice stat right there. 90 finishing, 90 shot power, 91 attacking positioning, all on his base is a very nice start to this card. Passing wise, not quite there. Dribbling, again, agility is on the lower side. It's 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 mid. Okay composure, it's nearly at the 90, so I can't complain at that. Reactions is good. Um, heading is decent. If heading was a meta, again, another card that would actually be... A, a, follow both metas, really. If you could head and you have the pace, you've got both of them pretty much in this card as well. Aggression's fantastic. Stamina's decent. Strength is okay. Not amazing, but it's okay. Um, so overall, as we start this card... It's, it's decent enough. I think the main, the one thing that will throw people off is the free star, free star. I think that will throw a lot of people off right from the get-go. You can get so many other cards that have four or five star on both or even one or the other. Um, for me, I would at least like the four star skills. I could probably get away with a weak foot being free, but I, I personally, I would not really buy a striker for my main team without four star, four star at the very, very least. Saying that, He's 160k currently on the Xbox, which is insane because the player of the month that you got a, a few months back now was tw about 20 to 25k to complete. That is absolutely nuts that that is the case. Um, but the main thing is this card can go up. He's BPO. He can go up. He's a BPO striker as well. So there's even more chance potentially that he can go up. Leicester having great form. Um, I know they lost their last match, but it's a very freak uh, accident with them. They've had an, an exceptional form in the past few weeks. So we could potentially see them go all the way and get this Vardy up to at least an 87. And then who knows from there? Literally one or two informs could really turn this uh, card into from a 160 to a 200k card in literally two informs, if that. Um, personally, I think if he went up to an 87, it'd do at least 20k value on him. So that's a very, very nice upgrade already. Um, we're going to go to a game. We're coming up against... Oh, wow. Okay. So we're going to have to hope that we win this match because at the minute, getting these bigger players in drafts, I think the only ones left big-wise, I've got Neymar, Lewandowski, and Nyan Golem, who personally I don't have enough coins for at the minute. Um, Vardy, I could, I could do, but obviously I was going to pick him up um, before, but I have just got him in a draft. So you thought... I can try and do him in a draft first, and if that does fail, um, you won't have seen this, but we uh, we would have gone ahead and bought him anyway and done him that way. So we're going to start off this match. Vardy's going to be on the ball first. What am, I, what am I expecting from him? Personally, I think he's going to be fast. He's going to have a decent shot on him. Maybe struggle a little bit on the dribble. Um, we're going to hope that we can get a little heel to heel. No, with, and, and that's what's going to be a big issue with him. He's not known for his dribbling. I feel like it's going to be out and out pace for him, which could be the be all and end all of him, really. Ronaldo's going to absolutely tear it up as well. I, honestly, he has suddenly gone from really not being played a lot to being the main guy. Like his team of the year, for instance, is just nuts. Like that is nuts. A 99 card anyway, no matter if it's Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, whatever, is always going to be fantastic. But even his gold card seems to be so much better than when it first started. Messi. Ref. No. Oh, that's a good goal. Damn it. Oh, Messi nearly. Oh, 
That's Vardy. There we go. We're back in it. Messi and Vardy doing well. That's what I like to see. And he goes with it. And we go. Beautiful work. Vardy. He's got a wicked shot on him. That's what I'm waiting for. Oh, so he scored another. So we're going to go into a game with Vardy, his second game. I don't know how many times I can do this second game. I did it uh, one time, didn't record it, um, just messed up. Second time, the sync of the audio and the, and the uh, video was completely out of whack and I just couldn't put you through it. So we are going into foot champs and I feel like I'm going to regret it. Red Neymar, Ronaldo, Messi... And a lot of good icons. Okay, so this is going to be very interesting. We're still getting used to the patch. Obviously, this now, the first game will be pre-patch. And then this uh, match will be post-patch. So you'll see a bit of a difference in the two. Um, personally, the first match, I don't think I did very well. Um, so hopefully, we can do something in this. Um, but I am struggling a little bit to, to some extent. Mainly just actually getting through the defense of anything. I think defending-wise... We're not doing terrible, but it, it's really boring and having to keep going backwards and forwards and doing all this rubbish because it's just, I don't know, it's, it's very, very slow and that's just poor for me anyway. Um, I'm hoping this guy's just either paid a lot in packs or is just very, very lucky with his red picks because he's got Neymar. That for me, I would probably suggest is an 86 upgrade and he's just got insanely lucky. Ronaldo could have easily been out of a pack. But again, it's still a very, very danger man. But all the icons, I think, I'm pretty sure most of them are not baby. Uh, bar from maybe a couple. Nesta is definitely from icon swaps. But we've got 90 Roy Keane. I suppose he could have been from icon swaps as well, actually. Vardy's going to do work. Going to pass it into Neymar. So we're going to go into our second game with Vardy. And we have probably played a few more matches with Vardy than we should have done. Two of the recordings that I've done as well <coughs> didn't really work out. One, the voice was out of sync completely. And another, the, I don't know what happened to the, the actual video. Recording it didn't really happen, so I have nothing to do with that. But we're going into a Rivals game, going against a La Liga team. He's got a few decent players, nothing really too testing. Um, I thought, you know what, I've tried foot jams with Vardy before and I weren't impressed whatsoever. So I thought, you know what, we'll go and do it in a Division Rivals. Don't really want to ruin the record any more than it probably is because this patch honestly i just i i can get along with it in some matches but then when someone's grasped it uh, grasped it a lot more than me then i really really struggle to break him down and that is probably the point of the whole patch but i mean i don't know i'm so used to how it played and now it just seems to be so so slow Oh, and Vardy bags a beautiful one. And that's it. In in rival uh, in foot champs, you'd never have that space. If you're coming up against a decent opponent, they wouldn't, they'd wouldn't. they have already changed to that player. He finds the space. He manages to cut himself back in. And he has got a lethal shot. That's something that Vardy definitely does possess. Oh, Hullet glancing header. Into the back of the good net. Beautiful goal from him there. So, first half done of this. Um, not bad, actually. We've managed to pull off a few shots. Vardy's obviously got himself a goal. hullet has got himself a goal. Uh, not really much else to report on. I like Vardy, but the problem is... I just don't think he's meta enough to really get in many teams other than potentially like icon swaps. I feel like perfect for that. We had the English requirement, which I can't see us having again. So, it's a little bit too late for that, but... If we do manage to get a recycled uh, icon swaps objective like that, then obviously he'll be perfect for it. Oh, Vardy going for another shot there. Literally the only thing that we've actually done this second half. Hullet winning every header as well. Oh, Messi! Goal! Makes a mistake and he's going to go from that. That is beautiful work right there. That is why you always chase down the ball. And it's probably one of the only times it's actually happened. Always chase down your balls. 
Vardy gets it onto his right, and he's beautifully put out into the net. Again, like I say, he's he's an okay striker. He's not the greatest, but he's got potential. The three star, three star is what really clinches it for me. I think he could get to probably like ninety one, and I'd still think that that's just going to be the deal breaker. But some people can play without it. Personally, I really, really have to have it. So finally going into the Vardy review. At this moment in time, he is costing around about 140. So relatively good price at the minute. He was about one, I think I bought him for what, 150, which was about 10K under as well. So bear that in mind. Um, I feel like he will go back up. His injuries kind of maybe put him on the back burner. I am still going to try and sell him for profit and see, just wait it out basically. I, I've got no reason to kind of rush to sell him at the minute. These cards will constantly be updating every single week with their form. So definitely stay tuned to all of that. Do I think Vardy's worth picking up for 100 and, well, 140, 130k now? I personally wouldn't. I think even, personally for me, even if he gets a, uh, an 88 rated, a 90 rated, the free star, free star remains. And I think for me, that's a deal breaker. His agility and balance isn't, um, it isn't bad, but it isn't, it isn't the best. So I'm finding him getting tackled on the dribble quite often. And with the slow gameplay, the only thing you can do with him is run. And that's kind of getting chopped down easily as well. For me, I just don't think this card's meta. I do think he's a great striker when it comes to finishing, it comes to the pace element, it comes to heading. He's fantastic in them areas. 90 finishing on his base. He's got 91 pace overall. He's got the fundamentals to be a great striker. I just think them tweaks and what makes this FIFA meta this year is his key aspects, what he doesn't have. His dribbling or his agility and balance, his uh, free star, free star, and then just overall the, the the way he dribbles. If you compare him to like Neymar's dribbling, you compare him to Dembele's dribbling, the, there's a massive difference in them elements. And depending on how you play, that is going to be a massive impact on Vardy. Plus, the big one for me, at this current moment in time, with him being an 86, you could could because if you didn't do it you can't get it anymore you could have got his 86 player of the month for about 20 to 25k that is a massive massive jump from 25k to 140k obviously this card is live he's english he's bpl he's bound to be more i understand that but the mat like not even like 100k on the market there is a what a 110k difference between them two cards and at the minute at the minute they are the same rating so for me Vard is a no-go yet yeah, until we see some sort of form, some sort of injury uh, kind of gone away. That's when I'd say maybe yes, we maybe go for it. As you can see as well, I've played what six games, ten goals, two is uh, two assists. I don't think any of them are squad battles as well, which is fantastic. Um, so overall, I was happy with him, but I think he's got a long way to go, and I just don't see him doing it in in the short space of time before maybe we see a team of the season Vardy. That could be the Vardy that really gets everybody, but at the minute, headliner for me, I just wouldn't do it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like down below if you did, and if you want to subscribe as well, it is free to subscribe to the channel with the bell button on so you know whenever I do a video. That is always incredible, and I will see you all for the next one. Peace!